Okay, our last method in analytical method is about component method. So, component method is appropriate for adding two or more vectors that do not coincide with x and y axis. So, in other words, these are breaking up the vector into its component. And these components are along with the horizontal or the x-axis and along the vertical or the y-axis. To start with, let's have these steps in component method. So first, we will be resolving the vectors in their x and y components. So we will be um, separating the x component and the y components. So after which, we will be adding the x components to get the rx and add the y components to get the ry. In other words, we will be um, getting the summation of rx and summation of ry. Then also, we will be getting the magnitude of the resultant which we will be using the Pythagorean theorem which is r is equivalent to square root of rx squared plus ry squared. And lastly, we will be getting the direction of the resultant which has a um, formula theta is equ equivalent to tan raised to negative 1 um, ry all over rx. Okay, to begin with, let's have our, re let's review our basic calculus, the topics about Sokatoa. So, let's have here a right triangle. So, let's identify the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is here. This is the longest side of a right triangle. Then, let's identify this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis. What if our angle would be here? So, what, uh, this is our angle, so let's identify the sides, which is the opposite, which is the adjacent. So, since this is the angle, the opposite of this angle is the opposite side. And the um, adjacent side is the x-axis. So, for uh, for us to use the Sokatoa, so let's have, for example, we are um, solving for y-axis, the opposite side. So, what should we use? It's side since opposite over hypotenuse so for example this is our required so um sine is equivalent to sine theta is equivalent to y all over which is the opposite all over the hypotenuse so cross multiply lang natin so that we can have the formula for y y is equivalent to hypotenuse times sine theta there how about if the adjacent side? Adjacent side, we can use the cosine. So, we can have cosine angle is equivalent to adjacent side, which is the x, all over hypotenuse. So, cross multiply lang natin, we can have the formula for x is equivalent to hypotenuse cos theta. So, there. Okay, let's apply our component method through this problem solving. So, let me read the problem. So, Marie Kit leaves the office. It, uh, he, she drives 26 kilometers due north and turns onto a street and continues in a direction 30 degrees north of east for 35 kilometers. And finally, turns onto the highway due east of uh, for 40 kilometers. So, what is her total displa displacement from the office? Okay, let's have our given. So, vector A has 26 kilometers north. Vector B has 35 kilometers, 30 degrees north of east. And vector C has 40 kilometers east. So, the required is the resultant of Marie Kick. So, for us to, um, to illustrate, Let's consider the vectors. So, let's have first 26 kilometers north. So, there, for example, this is our vector A. Next, it has uh, 35 kilometers, 30 degrees north of east. So, let's have here. For example, this is our 30 degrees north of east. Then, this, this is our vector B. Then, vector C. 40 kilometers east. So, 
So, this is our vector C. So, for us to know the resultant, let's connect the tail of vector A to the head of vector C. So, this is our resultant. And for our angle, sorry, for our angle, must be here. Always, dapat naka-align siya sa x-axis. So, let's start solving our component method. So, first step. First step, let's uh, first have the x and y component. Let's create a table. Okay, let's have our first step. So, vector A. Let's start with vector A. It has a 26 kilometers north. So, 26 kilometers north. So, it uh, lies on the x, y, y axis. So, lalagay lang natin here in the, 20, in the y axis, 26 kilometers then the x has a 0 kilometers. Next, vector B. In vector B, 35 kilometers, 30 degrees north of east. So, we need to solve first the x and y component using the SOHCAHTOA before we uh, identify the x and y component. So, let's get first this one. Let's illustrate. Let's have the illustration for vector B. So, this is our 30 degrees. So, this is the vector B. Then, let's create a right triangle. There. So, let's identify which is the opposite, which is the adjacent side. Since this is the y and also equivalent to the opposite side, then this is our x, this is the adjacent side. So, for us to solve for the x, it's the adjacent. So, using our SOHCAHTOA, so what will... What should we use? It's adjacent, it's cosine. So, in cosine angle, it's equivalent to adjacent side, which is the x all over the hypotenuse. So, cross-multiply lang natin. So, x is equivalent to our hypotenuse, which is 35, 35 kilometers. Cos, what is uh, the angle? It's 30 degrees. So, 35 kilometers, cos, 30 degrees, you can get x equivalent to 30.31 kilometers. So, there. Ito, dito natin ilalagay 30.31 kilometers. Next, opposite side. Since y is the opposite side, so let's use the sine. Sine angle is equivalent to y, which is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So, Cross multiply, so y is equivalent to hypotenuse, which is 35 kilometers. Sine, what is the angle? It's 30 degrees. So y is equivalent to 35 kilometers sine 30 degrees. We can get 17.5 kilometers for the y. So there, ito yung lalagay natin dito. So there you have it. How about vector C? Vector C, 40 kilometers east. So, it lies on the x-axis. So, ilalagay natin 40 kilometers. How about in y? Zero. Next, before we start, let's identify first, let's consider the sign of these vectors. So, since it is north, it, uh, it lies on the positive x-axis, a positive y-axis, so positive siya. How about here? Since north of east siya, north of east, nasa um, first quadrant, it has a positive-positive. So, positive x and positive y. Next, 40 kilometers east. So, it lies on the positive axis. So, positive y. Then, after which, let's um, add or let's get the summation of rx and ry. So, 30.31 plus 40, we can get 70 point, 70, 30, 1, I mean, 70.31. Next, um, summation of RY, 26 plus 17.5, we can get 43.5. Okay, after getting the summation of Rx and Ry, we can now solve for our resultant using our, the Pythagorean theorem. So, R is equivalent to square root of 
rx squared plus ry squared. So, let's substitute rx 70.31 squared plus our ry 43.5 squared. So, our resultants or square root of 70.31 squared plus 43.5 squared, we can get 82.68 kilometers. So, this is our resultant. How about the direction of the angle? So, using our formula, tan raised to negative 1, ry all over rx. So, let's substitute. Tan raised to negative 1, what is our ry? It's 43.5 divided by 70.31. So, our angle must be 31.74 degrees. And the direction, we can also um, identify the direction using this rx and ry. How? Since this is positive, so this is positive, positive. So, what quadrant? Which quadrant lies the positive, positive R, Rx, Ry? So, actually, here, in quadrant number 1. Since, di ba, positive dito, positive din doon. And here, quadrant 2 has positive, negative. Quadrant 3, negative, negative. And quadrant 4, positive, negative. So, positive, positive, nasa first quadrant siya. So, ibig sabihin, it is north of east. So, there. So, our final resultant, 82.68 kilometers, 31.74 degrees north of east. So, there. That's the end of our component method.